Hi guys, and this is just a pretty quick video uh, on Blender and how to do some cool ambient occlusion. Uh, something that's been str I've been struggling with for a while in uh, Blender and in, I guess in 3D in general is trying to really get uh, some data from the cavities in rocks. Um, because you know when you're sculpting in, um, in something like either ZBrush or 3D Coat, you'll get all this really nice cavity detail and then you bring it into the 3D package and it's really hard to control it and uh, in particular in Blender and in particular within Blender Eevee. Now this is uh, something that works uh, better in Cycles and it works a little bit in Eevee. I don't know why that is but um, uh, I guess it would it will suffice maybe but uh, it's certainly better than the stock standard ambient occlusion shader and this goes a little bit more advanced um, it's not too bad though and so what you can do is go from this kind of boring non uh, ambient occluded rock to something like this and it's a little bit harsh but it sort of at least shows that you're getting data in the, all of those little crevices in there so let's go into blender right now okay so we have got our rock and um, I'm going to be supplying the uh, scene in the downloads for free and including the rock and the texture and the shader and everything and so let's just quickly go over the shader um, I, I did see a tutorial online which talked about this um, but I wanted to specifically cater it for doing things like this kind of rock uh, so what I have is two principal BSDFs uh, that's got basically the the rock texture and this is a duplicate of the rock texture but made darker and this isn't the only way you could do this there's lots of different ways so uh, this is just so we have the original rock texture here and it just goes there and there and uh, here we have like a normal map and all the other stuff you know um, specular and this is just for darkness I mean really if you wanted to it could just be black um, but to be a bit more realistic it would be like in this case a darker version of those rocks and then it goes to a mix shader and the, this is where the magic comes in the factor between those mix shaders is this ambient occlusion here and you take the ambient occlusion data you manipulate it with this color ramp actually this inversion here isn't necessary um, but then it goes into this factor here and outputs to the surface and so let's have a look at it So you can see it's getting into all those dark crevices there and we can manipulate it here. Now it's hard to see because like, I don't know whether if we quickly switch to Eevee, see if we can get anything going in Eevee. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. You can see it working, but you will not get exactly the same results in cycles um, so uh, but it, it should at least illustrate the purpose I don't know why but a lot of these factors here just don't do anything that's what confuses me about ambient occlusion in blender um, but we can do that and if you really want to illustrate where the occlusion is you can it's got a bit of a bit of lag there. You can take the occlusion BDF, BSDF and put on some emission, and that will show you where it all is. So it's a little bit harder, to, a little bit more easy to read. Okay, and then let's take this back to not being. Oh, sorry, that's the alpha. Let me okay. and put on cycles. So that just in case you didn't want to download it, there's the full. This is the shader, 
pretty straightforward. You have the in, the general base shading here. Um, I did have um, some specular and some roughness set up, but I found that it wasn't working too well, so I just went with uh, basic specular and roughness. All that, all that good stuff. And this just darkness could use black if you want, but the main thing is the ambient occlusion shader going from AO into the factor not color, color ramp. And here I think I in maybe inverted it. You may want to just double check that. It may come in. Let's just add one just to make sure. So yeah, it comes in as a default with black on one side and white on the other. And for whatever reason, I had to switch that around to black on one side and lighter on the other. But have a play. It's all about just playing around with this until you find what you want. And that just, if we can forget about this. That just goes into the factor. I just wanted to see what would happen if like, I flipped it around, but I don't think that does anything. Uh, color into factor. And you're all good. Okay. So yeah, these, the whole scene um, is available. Link in the description. You'll get this free rock that I made in um, 3D coat and the texture and all of this good stuff. So yeah, uh, let me know uh, what you think in the comments and please like the video and uh, let me know if you make anything cool with it and if you too have struggled with ambient occlusion because I know that's something that I have. Okay, cool, thanks.